What's good? What's good, man? Let's get into it. It's unfortunate that, you know, I have to talk about two things that I dislike talking about. Number one, Giants fans, because Giants fans make me sick. Not all Giants fans, you know what I'm saying? Not all Giants fans. You know, I got my boy YTC, Donnie, Fisk, uh, who else? Taj, you know, those are my boys. You know, they, they, you know, not them. I'm talking about the rest of you dirty, ugly, uh, fat jer uh, Jersey people. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, and I have to say this, you know, can we please get over the whole Saquon Barkley thing? Can we please get over it? Like, you know, listen, look, I guess Saquon Barkley's daughter, let me share my screen real quick, but I guess Saquon Barkley made the news. Uh, his daughter came out and said uh, he she roasted the Giants, and I never seen a whole fan base get roasted, get, uh, get so their panties in a bunch by getting roasted by a little five-year-old girl. Just make that make sense. You guys are getting your panties in a bunch by a five-year-old girl. Saquon is gone. He's gone. Good riddance. Goodbye. And honestly, Giants fans, and I'm going to keep it real, you brought this upon yourselves. You wanted this bum at number two. Me and the rest of normal people realized that the problem was Eli Manning was beyond horrible. We needed to get a quarterback because Josh Allen and Lamar Jackson look amazing. Baker Mayfield, I mean, I don't believe in him, but he just got re-signed. But, but you guys wanted Saquon Barkley. You wanted to rebuild around Eli Manning. And now, what, five, six years later, this is what you get. You get roasted by a five-year-old and he has your panties in a bunch. Who cares? Who cares? Let me ask y'all something. If your ex-girlfriend, just as a man, this is, I'm talking to men right here. I highly doubt there's any woman on this channel, but I'm talking to all the men right here. If your girlfriend, uh, is your ex-girlfriend's going around bashing you, are you really going to respond? Are you really going to respond? The best thing to do is to not respond. You know why? That shows that she's bitter. If you don't respond, if you don't say anything, if you just move on, you uh, put your head towards God and distant to is, is that you grind. You find yourself another girl, whatever. God bless you with another girl. You just grind and get your money. You don't care about her. You make her look like the bitter ex. You're making her lose. Women love when you respond to them. The best thing to do is to ignore them, especially when you're done with them. Block her. It's over. It's done. Saquon Barkley is obviously the bitter ex, and we're giving him what he wants, attention. You have Giants fans burning his jersey. You have Giants fans being emotional, saying, you know, Oh, Saquon this, Saquon that. He shouldn't have never let his daughter said that. My thing is, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? If you honestly believe Saquon Barkley really wanted to be a giant, you have another thing coming. No, If you really want to be a giant, no one, I mean no one, goes on a podcast last year and says, I can say, you know, screw the team uh, and sit out and makes that big fuss that he did last year. He's a liar. And listen, I hate to, and listen, the player I'm about to bring up, I love. I think he was way more impactful than uh, Saquon Barkley. But even Odell Beckham said, I want to be a giant forever when he wanted to get paid. And then what did he do in that interview with Lil Wayne? He said, uh, he said, I don't know if I'm going to be a giant. Saquon Barkley gave you multiple on multiple hits, hints that he doesn't want to be a giant. So good riddance. Goodbye. See you later. It's over. It's done, Giants fans. Stop responding to him. Who cares what his daughter said? Who cares? She's five. Clearly, he told her to say that. But he's making himself look like the bitter ex. You Giants fans, you know where you should put your energy towards? You know who, who you should be bow-mouthing? The simple fact that we have a GM and an owner who want J.J. McCarthy in the draft, allegedly who want Drake May in the draft. They want another white hope, bum, white quarterback so they can relive the Eli Manning years. But the only difference is neither of these two bums are going to win the Super Bowl. That's where your energy should be. 
You know where your energy should be? Excitement that the Patriots might trade us that third third round pick and we may be able to get Jaden Daniels. That's where your energy should be. Not on no Saquon Barkley. Why is your energy towards somebody who, let's be for real, ain't going to do nothing with the Eagles? I mean, if he does do something with the Eagles, it doesn't affect us. We have bigger fish to fry. We're currently third in the division. No, fourth in the, at best third, maybe even fourth, maybe even fourth. Because if Washington gets Jaden Daniels, guess what, Giants fans? We're fourth in the division for the next 10 years. For the next 10 years. We need to focus on bigger and better things, not Saquon Barkley. Like, I made a video saying Saquon sucks. I mean, that's the title of the video. Or the title of the thumbnail, at least. I made a video saying, like, I, listen, I don't care about Saquon. Saquon's irrelevant. Go look up, for any new subscribers or anybody who's been watching me for a while, go look up my Saquon Barkley videos from last year, year before that. I'm glad he's gone. You should be glad he's gone. He's the biggest bust in the last decade. From 2014 to 2020, I'm 2024. He's the biggest bust in the last 10 years. Yes, I said it. At least Johnny Manziel went, what, 25th? Who else is a bigger? Baker Mayfield won playoff games. I'm trying to think. Second overall picks. Sam Darnold, I mean... He's, I mean, what did Sam Donald do for the Jets and what did Saquon Barkley do for the Giants? Absolutely nothing. Josh Rosen went ninth right before Saquon. Right off the top of my head, that's who I'm thinking of right now. He's the biggest bust in the decade. He's not Barry Sanders. You should be happy he's going. Stop responding to him. He wants your attention. He's mad he's not a Giant anymore. He's definitely mad that we didn't pay him. You know how to beat a woman? Don't respond to her. Don't respond to her. You know how we beat Saquon Barkley? We have Brian Burns, Kayvon, and Dexter Lawrence. Lock them up. Lock them up. That's how we beat Saquon. Stop responding to him. He's going to be doing this all offseason, Giants fans. Are you going to get your panties in a bunch during the whole offseason while we draft J.J. McCarthy at Drake May and we suck and Saquon Barkley sweeps us next year and the year after that and the year after that? With J.J. or Drake May hoping and praying that the great white hope saves us, you dumb Jersey idiots, you white trash Jersey cucks, and you're worried about Saquon Barkley, who you wanted, by the way. You won. I'm saying you guys because anybody who knows me, and shout out to my boy Fist. I know, you know, Fist, God bless him. You know, I hope he's doing good. If he sees this video, Donnie, CEO, YTC, anybody who's been around, uh, during the fist days, no, I didn't want to say one. I have the super chats to prove it. Maybe not now, but I I did never, never, never wanted to say one. You guys want to say one. You wasted the second pick. You passed up on Lamar and Josh Allen. That's what you did. Even uh, Quentin Nelson, you passed up on him. Nick Chubb, who's better than Saquon, by the way, you passed up on him. That's who you passed up on. And now he's the bitter ex. Let him be the bitter ex. Stop responding to him. We have bigger fish to fry. Once again, JJ should not be in consideration. I don't believe the reports, but the simple fact we have consideration for him, he shouldn't be a consideration. Neither should be. Neither should Drake May. And the New England Patriots rumors they might trade with us. That's where your energy. That's what you should be pushing the organization. Giants fans, you have all this. Uh, Leverage. The ownership is scared of you. Push to get Jaden Daniels. Push to get the second or third overall pick. Stop wasting your time on a bum. For real. Ain't nobody care about Saquon Barkley. It's been, what, a week? Week or a second? I don't even know how many weeks it's been. All I know is you need to get over it. He's gone. Good riddance. He hasn't done anything for us. He was a waste. He was a bust. It's time to move on. It's time to move on and make more history and time to rebuild this franchise because Giants fans, we are a dumpster fire with gasoline pouring on it by Joe Shane and John Mara. Saquon's over by Philly about to, you know, make the playoffs and, you know, do something there. Or maybe, he you know, tears another ACL like he always does every other year. But, you know, it is what it is with that. But Giants fans, please get over Saquon. I'm sick and tired of people always coming up to me saying, how do you feel about Saquon going to the Eagles? I tell everybody, I don't care. Just because I'm a Giants fan, I don't care. I don't 
care. You're making me look bad by you looking like the bitter ex. That's my thoughts. What are yours? RJL. Thank <music> you.